Welcome, man. Welcome back to the channel. Real quick, listen, man. Let's, let's go over something real quick. I got this O2 Chrysler Town and Country. A uh, lady brought it in, say she was driving, and the car just died. And all of a sudden, she had to sit back and chill out for a good 10, 15, 20 minutes, and the car would fire right back up. Okay, because I had to pull that out of her. I actually asked her, how did she get it to finally start? She said, after sitting for a while, it would start up on its own. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is a true indication of, of overheated fuel pump. All right, but we don't want to speculate. I don't like speculating. I'm trying to see if this one has a fuel rail input, you know, where you can uh, do a fuel pressure test. Cause, because if it don't, we're going to tie into the fuel line. So what we need to do is a fuel pressure test. Basically, I'm going to have to drive the car until it stalls and then see where fuel pressure is. Because if fuel pressure is low, uh, that pretty much is what's going on. Now, I have my scan tool hooked up. Uh, this takes a different model scan too. I'm trying to get this blur out. So I'm under the car. Let's go on the uh, right here. Read DTC. And what do we find, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, Read DTC. We see a uh, no response. Come on, baby. There we go. We see a uh, one one fuel system lean. Okay. Now you'll get a cold like that because. Quite frankly, fuel pressure is not monitored. There's no sensor on the fuel rail that would tell you if fuel pressure is low. So the strategy is on, in the system uh, try to utilize uh, adaptive memory and if it detects that the fuel is lean based on a, a number of other inputs, you will get this fault code. Okay, let's uh we tried to get away from using the term lean and rich, but lean usually indicate not enough fuel. So Basically, that's what you should come to the conclusion with based off this code because again, there is no fuel pressure sensor on this model car. Alright, so what I'm going to end up doing is uh, basically a uh, fuel pump test. I'm going to hook up my gauge. If there's not a, I'm not sure if there's a port on there. I'm going to hook up my gauge and go drive it with the gauge sitting on the windshield. If my needle start doing this going down as I'm driving, meaning signaling that the pump is overheating, I'm going to pull over quick before I lose all my pressure. But again, that will indicate that the fuel pump is failing. Now, as far as a uh, fuel filter, uh, this year model is pretty much built on the fuel pump. So you can't just... I'm not sure. I think the fuel filter is outside of the tank on this model. But at any rate, that could very well be your problem. Okay? So, but most techs and most shops want you to do both uh, for assurance purposes. Okay? So we're going to end up, after I check the fuel pressure and verify that it's going down uh, while I'm driving and that's what's essentially stalling the car out, I will proceed with a fuel pump uh, repair. End up replacing the fuel pump and the filter. Again, I got a fault code for system is lean, okay? So that also justify the fuel pump and the complaint uh, it stalls out while they're driving. Alright, so that's where we at on this one, man. That's all I have, man. Let's get this diagnostic right man the first time we want to get it right the first time yes a fuel pump can overheat to the pump to the point where it stopped producing fuel and as it cooled down uh the motor inside the fuel pump start back to running so that pretty much explains why when they sit for five ten minutes and try to start it back up it starts but that's not a fix it will happen again so we need to get it replaced and repaired all right thanks for watching comment subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next video.